What is poppin' calisthenics fam? My name is Brendan Myers and today, well you guessed it, we're gonna be tackling yet another myth in the industry. Alright, so what is this huge myth that we see every single day? What is the biggest BS of the industry? Well, it's the fact that you can actually get to this size or this size or, or even like this size and stay lean like this or like this and train hard all year round. But the fact of the matter is, that's bullshit. The truth is you need something more than that creatine pre-workout, those cheap testosterone pills at GNC and the best tasting protein to get to all of that size. So what will we go out over in this video is kind of just guiding you towards the right journey, the right path for you and your body. So how big can you actually get without going on steroids, HGH, and or any other type of testosterone products or anything like that? And the fact is, it is pretty hard to say because there's different types of body types. And that's where we can really focus on, okay, well, this is my potential. This is where I can really build lean muscle fast if I have this type of body. Or maybe it's gonna take a lot longer for you when you're not taking all this crap. And by the way, don't take any of this crap. It's not worth it in the long run. You can build an incredible body without anything. Okay, and you have to remember that. So, what are the three body types that you really need to understand? Well, endomorph, this is where you're usually a, a, a bit bigger boned. I like to say bigger boned, it's a lot easier to reference. And then we have ectomorph, this is more skinny. So you gotta think of more lengthy, skinny, you might see some abs, might have a little bit of fat, skinny fat. Uh, and then you have mesomorph, this is more muscular. And this is where the genetics really come into play. If you're a mesomorph, it's very easy for you to build lean muscle and lose lose fat, but how easy is it for you if you're an ectomorph and an endomorph to lose that fat and build muscle? Well, it's going to be a lot different. If you're skinnier, it'll be a lot easier to build lean muscle, right? But not so fast because your metabolism might be so high that it isn't as easy. So you have to really understand your diet when it comes to burning fat, gaining and building size and what you're doing in the gym as well. And we'll get to that in just a second. But first let's tackle the diet. Are you eating fibrous carbs? These are extremely important. You gotta think of leafy greens. They're important for digestive health. Uh, cauliflower, carrots, mushrooms. I want you to be able to take everything that I'm saying in this video for the diet especially and put it into your own plan in case you want to start eating correctly. Actually, you should want to eat correctly to build that lean muscle and reach your potential in and outside of your workouts. So are you consuming good, simple carbs? I'm talking about things like fruits, pineapples, apples, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and how are your starchy complex carbs? Those are extremely important as well. Are you eating a lot of crappy carbs? This will affect your body negatively in the long run. So I'm talking about like white and sweet potatoes. They're extremely, extremely nutrient filled. White rice and then lentils. These are just a few things that you could be consuming on a daily basis. And then this is extremely important. When we talk about healthy fats, are you actually consuming them? And if you aren't, that could affect the way you're building lean muscle and the way you're losing fat. Even though your macronutrients might be, like you think your macronutrients are where they need to be, you'll really tell by the way you're feeling and if you're building any type of muscle or not. So healthy fats will be like salmon, you have walnuts, avocado, coconut oil, and even, yes, dark chocolate. You can eat some dark chocolate in moderation every single day. It's actually a very, very good fat for you. There's a lot of nutrients in that dark chocolate. And then outside of the diet, right? So we understand the diet, we gotta be eating more of these foods. It's as simple as that, really. You know, there's all these myths and stuff about like IIFYM, eat whatever the heck you want and you'll build the best body ever. Uh, that's, that only goes so far, right? Because when we're talking about health and fitness, it's not only about physique, it's about long-term health benefits and we have to keep that in mind every step 
of the way. So make sure you're eating healthy every single time you pick up some food, but get your cheat meals in because those are extremely important as well. Now to the training. How is your training structured? If you want to build lean muscle and if you want to lose fat, you have to be able to create a goal to say, hey, I want to build a shredded and big physique but you gotta be training correctly. So are you within the hypertrophy zone of repetitions? If we're talking about, if we're doing body weight training, six to 13 repetitions, and then it's a little bit similar with weightlifting. It's gonna be a little bit uh, like seven to, I like to stay around seven, rep or seven to 11 repetitions, sorry about that. And then sets, what are your sets? So three to five sets would be very good. Volume is high for a hypertrophy, remember about that. And then your rest periods are gonna be anywhere from 45 seconds seconds to a minute and a half, even if you are doing only bodyweight training or if you're in the gym. So keep that in mind if you want to build size as quickly as possible, lean muscle we're talking, and keep off that fat, focus on hypertrophy training. Obviously, if you can incorporate all of them, it'll be very beneficial to your overall physique and health in the future. So uh, what should your frequency be like? Because we just spoke about all the sets and reps and all those different things. Uh, are you training only one to two times per week or not often at all? Or are you training too much, seven times per week? Now, if you're on gear, you can train all the time and make it seem like, oh, I'm never getting injured. But you gotta remember, you're not on gear. You want to build everything holistically, naturally. So what do you gotta do? I focus on all of my programs and all of my training mechanisms about three to five five days per week, sometimes even six. So make sure you're doing that. That's gonna be your frequency, all right? And then, are you even changing up your workout? So if you got the frequency, if you have the sets and reps and all those different things, are you changing the type of training that you're doing? And this all goes around the gas theory, and this is where you adapt to exercises and kind of get too used to something, and then your body is not stressed anymore, and it's not building lean muscle and losing fat as fast as you want. You're plateauing. So to build all of these different things, that's what you gotta do. And the fact of the matter is, you can't train every single day and place your body under stress without taking a bunch of crap. That's what I was leading to. And it's so, so important for you to understand that. So be smart with your training and nutrition. And although you won't get as big as, let's say, this, you can still build an incredible body that everyone looks at and says, wow, that's incredible. And I just want to say one more thing. You know, I, I just expressed so many different types of information for you to gather, you know, nutrition, your workouts and everything. But there's another myth out there that you can't really build a body without going to the gym and that's just that's just wrong and I want you to understand that if you don't have a gym that's okay if you don't have thirty dollars fifty dollars a month that's okay start with bodyweight training check out all of my other videos follow everything that we're that I guide you through in all of these different videos and you will build the muscle that you want and build an incredible physique that people say wow in the end so thanks for tuning in hopefully you enjoyed this video definitely comment down below with how you felt about this topic Topic and what other topics you want me to really just dive into and debunk. This is the biggest myth of the industry and people are leading you down the wrong path. Now you have a straight path and clear path towards the goal that you have. So thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and well, I'll see you next time.